Hey, it's Nikki Thompson and welcome to Tea with Nikki. This podcast is all about embracing your sexual energy. And today I'm going to be going into explaining what that means. What does it mean to embrace your sexual energy? And what does that even look like? So today we're going to be diving deep into that. But before I get into that, I would love for you to subscribe to this podcast whether you're listening to it on the web on my website or if you're on Spotify, or Stitcher, wherever you're listening to podcasts, I would love for you to subscribe and leave a review. What is it that you're enjoying about these podcasts so far? So this helps me get my new podcast out there to more people and make a bigger impact because I really feel like the message of embracing our sexual energy is a message that has not been brought forward enough for women and if We're often feeling as though we are disconnected or just not ourselves. And that is what we want. I want to be helping people with. And that's probably why you're listening to this podcast. So what is embracing your sexual energy? So for me, it started a number of years ago when I joined in on this little kind of 30 day orgasm challenge. Now, when I mean join in, it was not an orgy. It was a personal experience. However, I'd read about it on this blog. And for me, I was at a point I was exhausted. I felt lost. I felt disconnected from myself. I was in that space where I just didn't know who I was. I felt like I was living someone else's life. And I was trying to do all of these things. I was trying to lose weight. I was trying to you know, keep the house tidy. I was trying to eat well. I was trying to do all of these things for my children and everything was so fucking hard. And when I looked into this kind of orgasm challenge, I thought, oh, well, what what was it going to hurt? Like, because at this point I was quite disconnected from my sexual self, Um, you know, growing up in a Catholic kind of um culture so family and high school and things like that it's it was always frowned upon any kind of masturbation for a woman was like no that's dirty like i i grew up as though and society tells us this as well even now is that as a woman our body is for other people's pleasure for other people to look at for other people to have sex with you know like not not going against consent, but I'm just saying like other people get pleasure from our bodies. But if we're getting pleasure from our bodies, well, that's not right. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And this is just so wrong. So when I talk about embracing your sexual energy, it's about taking that back. It's about owning your sexual pleasure. And you don't have to be going out there and sprouting it to the world like I'm doing right now. But you know, you don't have to be telling everybody how amazing your sex life is or how how easily you can get yourself off or any of that. In fact, that is probably going the opposite way in that when we have taken that power back, when we've embraced our own sexual energy, we no longer need approval from other people. We no longer need to justify our decisions in life. Because we feel connected with ourselves again. We're able to identify our true selves. Because as a woman, our sexual energy, our sexual power, it's, you know, we create life with that. Whether we choose to do that or not, it doesn't matter. We have the ability to do that. We have a body that is truly amazing and can provide us with so much pleasure. And yet, we are often told that that's not okay, that that's dirty, that that's disgusting. Oh, she wants it too much. And this is, these are things I've heard. I have a very high sex drive. I enjoy it. But there was a point where I just pushed that crap down for many, many years because I felt disgusting. I felt like I wasn't allowed to own it. So for me, all these years ago, when I started on the journey of owning it, That is when everything started to change because I started to think, because I felt more connected with my body, I'm like, should I, this is my body. I can enjoy this. I can have pleasure from this and I can be happy about that. 
I don't have to feel shame around that. And then I started to really think about, okay, well, I want to have more energy with my body. I love my body. I wanted to treat it better. So I started to eat better. I started to move my body. I started to have more energy. I started to be excited about life again, all because I was able to reconnect with my physical body. And that's the whole point. And so what you can do is, and it does not have to be, you don't have to climax when you're all have like um, self-pleasure, masturbation, whatever you want to call it. That is not necessarily the end goal. Climaxing obviously is great. And it's a great result from that. But it is more about exploring your own body. It's more about saying like and, and feeling like, this is me. This is me. I don't need to always be getting um, validation from outside of my body. My body is fucking amazing as it is. And that's the point. And there are a lot of, of literature and courses and trainings and so much information out there um, about Tantra. So Tantra is all about embracing your sexual energy, but often people confuse that with having tantric sex and having sex in all these weird, wonderful situations and um, positions and all that kind of thing, holding your breath and not having an orgasm and all of those things. And that is definitely if you want to take this even deeper, but I'm here to get you started. I'm here to help you understand why you would want to do any of that, why exploring your sexual side is such a positive thing why it can really shift things in your life so for me it helped me move through depression and I'm not saying ditch your meds or ditch your counselor or ditch anything and just start masturbating but what I'm saying is that for me it made significant changes in all areas of my life now if you have uh, I want to try and explain what it looks like in somebody okay So you've probably experienced it at a party, for example, and someone there, whether she or he is naturally um, or society-based attractive is, is not relevant. What they generally have is this magnetic nature about them. They walk tall, they own their conversation, they own themselves, and it's that is tapping into your sexual energy. That is tapping into this level of confidence and connection with you. That means you don't need to care what everyone else is thinking. And when you don't care what everyone else is thinking, then you are able to be this confident person. And it's very magnetic. It's a very magnetic energy when you're in this space. So this is what I want you to think about (coughs) is have you seen someone like that recently and how do you feel like you just want to talk to them like you just want to think far out like what are they doing and that is an element of embracing your sexual energy is because it's this connection it's this confidence so when we are in this space for me it looked like I you know from for me it was an experience of eating better moving my body wanting to take care of myself better, I started to dress better because at this point I was just wearing a lot of um, house clothes, as you call it. Some people feel amazing doing that. I did not. And I don't have any judgment of what people want to wear. What it is, is all about you. What makes you feel good? And quite often when we're in a deep space of disconnect, we don't take care of ourselves. We don't shower as regularly as we should. We don't eat as well. We often are on the couch all the time. We don't dress very well because it's like we feel this um, underlying worthlessness. And that is when we are deeply disconnected from our true selves. Because our true self and our physical body, like they want to survive. They want to be thriving in life. They want to be fucking doing everything like the energy is intense it's amazing and it feels great so when we're not feeling that that means we're disconnected that means that we then start making decisions from that space of being disconnected oh who cares if i just eat all this sugar oh who cares if i just spend another day on the couch 
oh, I can't be bothered to do any exercise. Everything is so much harder. And then we go to the next stage. So once we're through that, when if we're still in that, if we go through this phase, we might try to pull ourselves out without reconnecting with ourselves. And that looks like having a million checklists or a million habits you're trying to achieve. And you're pushing and pushing and pushing. and Everything is really, really hard. And that's when we're going the wrong way about it. We're just trying to fix the physical, like the outside appearance. We're not fixing the inner stuff. We're not doing the inner work. And this is what I go through. I have my online course, She's on Fire, which is all about embracing your sexual energy. It's this course that I take you through this process because we often want to get out of this space. You know, we want to get out of there. We just don't know how to do it. And the thought of talking to more people, like I've, I've been there and I, I wanted to speak to my counselor or psychologist or whatever, and then you don't want to, or you just know what to say because you don't want to sound as depressing as you really are. Um, and all of these things, they couldn't really help me with the practical side, except for this one incredible woman, Tracy Carmichael. She helped me a lot when I had my second child and she was like, okay, you need to, you need to start moving. You need to start eating better. You need, it's a holistic approach to getting out of that space. And I see that if I had have done that, plus this sexual energy work, I would have just been able to stick to that for so much longer to, to make a permanent shift. But those things only worked while I felt in the mood to do them. <laughs> And when I was too exhausted or if I'd been up with a child all night and I was too exhausted the next day, I would then reach for foods that would give me a quick energy hit. And that's what keeps you stuck in that space. So embracing your sexual energy is really understanding that we're trying to tap into and reconnect with our physical bodies when we're taking back our own power. And then we can start to make the shifts that we really want in our life because you want to do it automatically. It's not as hard. It's like taking that handbrake off and we just start to move forward with ease and pleasure. Pleasure is always good. And often we need to break through those beliefs and those um, definitions of success that were just holding us back because we don't feel like we deserve that pleasure. We don't feel like we deserve any of that because we've been told for such a long time that that's not okay. Well, I'm here to tell you right now that this is absolutely okay. In fact, it is highly encouraged. It is something I would love for you to start to explore. So if you want to explore it deeper, keep listening to this podcast. But I also have a free workshop over at NikkiThompson.com. I'll put a link in the show notes. Go and check that out. I'll go into a deeper understanding of what this involves. And how you can start to make those shifts now. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will be back with you next week. Have an amazing week. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a little bit of pleasure as well. Thanks.